Yo, what's going on boys? I'm gonna be doing the 21 challenge with Icebo today. So this is actually my third try. The stack is so hard to play. There's no good matchups, but yeah. Got to 17 and then got like lava flying machine mirror, so lost to that, but I finally got a good start again. I think I lost the second try at like nine wins because I just gave up. If I lose a game before 10, I just I kind of throw, so just kind of gave up and then started a new one. Now I'm 14 and one, so Kind of hoping to get a lot of good matchups here. Um, got Hog, so it's a pretty good matchup for me. I'm going to knight the back here. Goes for Valk in the back. Okay, I thought he was playing Giant Skelly Queen, but he's playing Valk. So it might be XE NATO. It's a really good matchup if I just play good defense and single. I just need to not take any damage and I'll be fine. Already got a free Rocket too. Yeah, I think he knows it too. That was kind of a misplay by him. Not really a misplay, but he didn't really know I was playing Ice Bow. So he played a Valk in the back, kind of fed my Rocket. Um, he can't really punish me for that rocket either. So I'm gonna Ice Wiz like this so he can't NATO the Ice Wiz into my tower. If you play like that, um, any NATO placement's not gonna do anything, so. It's a really good placement. I'm gonna log over here to cycle. Um, also got the goblins, nice. I'm gonna mute this guy because, um, he's kinda annoying. Anyways, I'm ready with the Tessa. I think he's gonna go hog. Yeah, there it is. So I'm gonna Tessa in the middle to not take any damage from that. He's back to Valk, so probably not gonna Valk in the back this time. Um, if I had to guess, he's probably going to Valk in the middle, like right above the king, um, so that I can't rocket the tower and the Valk, but... Okay, plays it on the right side, but not bad. I'm going to knight like this. If he goes Xy here, I'm straight up going to rocket it, because I feel like if he goes for like an Xy NATO, he's going to get a lot of damage. Um, that didn't cross the bridge, but still, I'm going to rocket here, because that was a really good rocket. Um, up Elixir right now because of that rocket, so let's see what he does here. He's probably at like 4 Elixir right now, so... If he goes Hog, I'm just going to NATO it to king and then x ball opposite to win the game, but... See what he does here though. He hasn't really played a Ice Spirit yet, so it makes me think he's got a Tesla. I'm just gonna test it out. Yeah, there it is. I saw a lot of people playing this deck in the 21 challenge. So I just kinda had a feeling he had a Tesla and looks like I was right. I'm gonna log over here to force something else out. I actually managed to force out goblins and hogs, so not bad. I'm gonna NATO here. Um to not take any damage from the hog. Um I need to stop NATOing soon though, because I can't let him get a lot of damage on my King Tower. That way he can just like rocket cycle me, but you know, Ice was in the back here. Um, he might also have a lightning. I saw a lot of people play lightning with this when they have a Tesla, so that's my guess. But I'm gonna Tesla hide like this. I'm also gonna log over here. He's probably gonna Tesla. Yeah, I was kind of trying to get back to my skellies before the um, Tesla locked on mine, but cycle back to it late, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna do this. Also gonna need this back. Okay, um, kind of a fail because I was hoping the ice was splashed to hit the goblins, but I missed all of them, so didn't really work out, but it's okay. I didn't take any damage. I'm only down like two elixirs, so I think I'm fine. Goes for Valk. I'm gonna log over here. Also gonna Skellies. Just gonna get back to my Ice Fizz like this. If he goes for like an Xy, I'm definitely gonna rocket it again. There it is. So I'm just gonna rocket it just to get off the field. Um, because if I let it live for too long, it gets a lot of value. Even if I don't let it cross, like it kills everything I play. So definitely a good play to rocket it. That was a really good prediction. I'm not really sure if he meant to predict it, but that was actually really good. Let's see what he does here though. Okay, goes for Goblins and uh, Hogs. So I'm gonna Knight like this and then Nato this. Should not take any damage from that. Nice. For a second, I thought I missed the NATO, but thankfully I didn't. I'm going to rocket the XE soon, but I'm just kind of waiting for the Valk. There it is. So I'm going to do this. Also going to Skellies to kind of put it on the spot so I don't miss a rocket. Nice. Um, might go Hog, but I have a Tesla ready, so I'm fine. He might also go for like a Tesla Predict. Okay, he's been doing that a lot, so I'm going to Axe Ball on the left here. Um, he's at like 5 Elixir right now. He has enough for Hog, but let's see what he does here. Okay, goes for XE, so I'm going to do this to not let the XE hit my... Expo and the Ice was at the same time. Also goes for Valk, but I thankfully pulled it back, so I have enough time to kill this now. Might have to, like, log NATO. Yeah, let's go for log NATO. Um, kind of wish I was back to a second Expo, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to rock it over here. Um, don't think he can punish me for it, especially when he's down, like, three elixirs, so. He's definitely up, like, two now, though, because I rocketed, so, let's see. Goes for the XE. Um, honestly, I thought he was going to, like, hog lightning, but he actually just went for an XE low. Not bad, I guess. He's kind of trying to like build up a really good push. Might be too late at this point because even if he does get one down, I can just rocket NATO. So I'm going to rocket over here once again because he can't really punish me for it. I'm going to NATO as well um, just for chip. I feel like I can get back to a second rocket on defense here because I have to rocket on defense. Not going to be able to defend if I don't. So yeah, just going to do this. Um, luckily, he didn't go NATO there because if he did, he would have gotten like two XE shots. Also went for a lightning on my Tesla, but the Hawk didn't get any damage. So the defense was kind of lucky, but I kind of had it calculated too, so not bad. Nato like this, so the Xe doesn't hit my um, Ice Wiz. Also going to Tesla high like this. He might go for like a Tesla high again. Just go for it. He's catching me lacking with that every time. I don't really expect it, but then he does it, so it's like kind of awkward. 
but I'm gonna rock it over here. Also gonna nato this to king if I have to. Um, yeah, I definitely do. Wait, I don't want to choke the goblins. Okay, kind of had to take a hit there because um, if I nato did too soon, the goblins would have been on my tower. Kind of lagged at the end there. I'm not really sure why, but definitely gonna switch to my um data after this game. My internet has not been good for the past few days, so puts me at what 15 and one I think. Not bad. See you when I find a game. All right, I got a game. Kind of have to be quiet today because I'm recording late at night, so apologize for that. Anyways, I'm gonna log over here to cycle. Um, see what this guy's playing. Hopefully not a beatdown deck. I mean, looking like it, he's leaking a lot, so it's definitely not a good sign, but let's see what he does here. I'm gonna test a high like this, because I don't really have an option. I don't want to leak either, because if it's beatdown, I have to get all the damage in single. Okay, goes for Miner, so I'm gonna Knight on defense here. Miner could be Lava. That's the only deck I can think of, because um, it's the only popular deck in the challenge. Yeah, let's go for the Tombstone. So looking like Miner... Um, Lava Skelly King type of deck. It's a really bad matchup. On top of that, I already played my Tesla. So if he goes Lava here, I lose the game. But he played a um, Flying Machine in the back. So I'm going to try to bait out like Skelly Drag's opposite lane. Oh, he's playing this variant. Okay, it's even worse compared to um, Skelly Drag's. He's got a Mirror, so... This deck is like never punished. You literally can't punish them. Mirror is so broken, but I'll try my best. I'm going to eat damage on both of my sides because I can't really do anything about it. Could have natoed them um, both, I think. Or maybe could have natoed the right side, but didn't really want to like waste a lot of elixir at that point. I'm going to knight on defense here. Um, I can't rock at that, can I? Nope. I have to let that lock on the knight and then Tesla like this. I'm also going to wait till the lava locks on that tower, so it doesn't really do any damage on that Tesla. Ice was over here to bait out like a miner. Okay. I was hoping he would like miner my um, ice was so I could just nato it to king, but he actually played it on the Tesla. Not bad. Oh god, how am I going to defend this? This is not optimal. I feel like I already lost the game, but I'm going to do this. Um, Knight should tank for like a good 5 seconds or something, so... Hopefully my tower does not take any more damage than that. Kill the flying machine, thank you very much. Okay, goes for mere flying machine. He has no idea what the elixir is. Just kind of like placing cards at this point. Like, he has no sense of elixir, but... It's just that the matchup is so terrible, I can't really do anything, so... I might still have a chance, though, if I go opposite lane, but... Not really sure though. He just played a flying machine, so he's not back to it. So I'm gonna expo here. Actually gonna go same lane because I want to bait something out and then go opposite lane. It's not good to like straight up go opposite lane. So goes for minor. I'm gonna knight like this. Also goes for arrows. Actually, I think I'm gonna stick to same lane for now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna test on here to kill that um, flying machine. Hopefully, because it locked on the baby dragon. I don't really think it would lock on the baby dragon, but now I have to go opposite lane because my Tesla died. Gonna axe but like this. Also gonna scale to kind of block like the baby dragon. Okay, there it is. So I'm gonna ice was like this. Might go minor. I feel like it's behind the expo. Never mind. Last time we played it behind the expo, so I just kind of guessed the backside, but I was wrong. It's okay though. Um, got some damage. My Tesla lives, so I feel like I can nato the flying machine if he does go for one. There it is. So I'm gonna nato this into the Tesla. Tesla should two shot it. So I'm gonna axe bow again. I feel like I'm in a really good spot elixir wise, but it also has a lot of damage. Okay, what was that? I feel like I won the game. I'm going to log over here. Also going to knight to block the baby dragon. He's at like 6, 7 elixir right now. He's not really playing anything though. Please a minor on the expo. Okay, not bad. Um, knight, come on. I need you to get like 2 hits. One more. Nice. Okay, wait. Wait, I don't know my spell damage. This is not good. Um, I'd love to like press down on the card and then check the damage, but I'm kind of stuck defending now. It's already too late, but I feel like nato, log, and a rocket would have done enough. It's okay though, I'm gonna nato like this to um, hit all the pups as well. If he went for a minor, I'd ice was ready, so would've just dropped it on the um, the push, but I think I'm fine here. I'm gonna log like this. Okay, 499, 448. Yeah, that's a rocket log, but I'm just gonna be safe and then rocket log nato at the same time. Don't really wanna choke, um, especially not this matchup because it's like a 90-10 matchup and I somehow managed to beat it. So I'm gonna do this and that's game. Um, that puts me at, what, 17-1? That was a really terrible matchup. That guy did not know how to play that matchup. Um, also shows how broken that deck is, I guess. Or, not that deck, the mirror, I guess. Hate that card so much. But, anyways, see when I find a game. Okay, already got a game. Facing Nova Nacho. Let's see what he does here. Kind of a decent starting hand. Focused on defense. I'm gonna play Ice Wiz in the back to cycle. Just try to get back to my expo for now. Never mind. Goes for barrels. So I'm gonna have to Ice Wiz on the barrel. Also, good thing I saw the barrel, because if I didn't, I probably would have tried to, like, nato it to king and taken a lot of damage. The barrel was on the anti-nato spot, so definitely would have natoed it to the other side of my tower and taken a lot of damage. 
but i'm um, looking like bait i'm not really sure who has matchup here i don't play ice ball often so i don't know most of the matchups but i just know the hard counters anyways um this matchup cannot be that bad though because i have two small spells and i also have a rocket if i don't get a lock here i can just um try to go for rocket cycle and just defend the whole game but easier said than done he also has the mighty miner so he can go for like a three card cycle out cycle gonna knight on defense here also gonna log kind of fed him that expo i didn't really want a knight in front because i thought he was gonna rocket it but he actually ended up cannoning on it so probably playing mirror or something um but if he has a mirror he would have mirrored the goblin barrel he wouldn't have played the skellies first so i feel like he does have a rocket but he just kind of didn't have it in hand gonna ice was on defense here um for that fire spirit okay gonna have to nato the dark op and kind of was saving it for the barrel but at this point i'm just gonna do this because i don't really want to let that thing live for long um i feel like it would get a lot of value if i did so this should full counter the barrel oh god okay gonna have to log over here oh my god that was a beautiful ability really didn't expect that ability because there's a goblin in the back so i thought he was gonna like want to um tank for the goblin for like a bit longer but he probably predicted my log and then popped the ability so that was actually so sick that was an insane play well played anyways um kind of want to go in soon but i'm down a lot of flicks here so i'm gonna have to do this also outcycled me by a lot so i'm gonna have to knight on defense here took two goblin hits not bad i can definitely afford to take it for now but can't do it in the future because i already took a lot of damage dark rob also got like a few hits on my tower so definitely not good plays a cannon in the middle he's at like four elixir but don't really want to go in because if i do he's just going to be able to rock it and then win the game so I mean, not win the game, just kill my expo. But you get the point, like, eventually just win the game. Gonna expo here, um, this is kinda gonna tell me if he has a rocket or not, because if he doesn't, he might not, um, rocket this. Which is kinda obvious, because if he doesn't have rocket, how would he rocket it? That was kinda silly by me, but anyways, the expo should lock on, because he tried to defend it without, um, rocketing it, which means he does not have a rocket. So please, a second dark rob, I'm gonna ice was on defense here. To not take any damage also gonna log over here for the barrel and then expo again now that i know he doesn't have a rocket i can just go for like expo tesla spam he can't really do anything about it i'm gonna nato this to get a lock nice um i know the nato was like super common nato so you should have been able to like predict the nato but i actually didn't block it with anything so my expo locked on i'm gonna try to do this i'm gonna kill the dark ops so the expo takes the whole tower also gonna nato on defense here but i don't really have to my expo took the whole tower but i just wanted to kind of play like a last second defense i guess but yeah that was a pretty easy win at the end because i figured out he didn't have a rocket so i was just kind of able to punish him should put me at 17 and 1 not bad see you when i find a game nice i got no q time this is actually so nice facing zc7 his name kind of sounds like a beatdown player name i don't want to jinx it though but i just have a good feeling that he's playing beatdown which is not exactly bad if he's playing golem or something i definitely have matchup but hopefully not lava um oh god don't go lava in the back please actually getting scared okay never mind goes queen the back so i'm safe here I'm gonna rock it over here i don't get punished for this unless he's playing expo and he goes expo opposite but see what he does for the ice fist though it's also gonna kind of tell me what deck he's playing so not bad um plays the e spirit definitely looking like expo oh he's playing rg okay um that should be some insane dps on it because the ice was also got two hits on it definitely not gonna get any damage on my tower tesla also lives but it's gonna die eventually so not bad i guess i'm gonna expo here to um just kind of check if he has a giant skelly or not i'm actually gonna hold on to my knight because if he does i have to knight on it so it's gonna do this just kind of hover it for now i guess wait what he should not be back to that he played an e spirit or g and a hunter how is he back to that dude i hate the champion cycle they just kind of like mess up your cycle a lot because i knew for a fact he wouldn't be back to that so i just kind of went for an expo um so i was like worst case scenario he plays a giant skelly on it and my expo dies but guess what he's back to queen yay fun but it's okay not the end of the game though because i already got so much damage i'm still gonna win this hopefully if i don't choke but would have been nice to get some lock there like would have been nice to get some damage I'm gonna nato this to king. Well, I accidentally messed up the timing, so I took a hit, but it's okay. I'll try to do it better next time. Actually, since I already got a lock, I don't even have to pull anything to king. It's just kind of better to have a king activation even when you're facing RG, because sometimes you can get into awkward cycle where you have to kind of like eat a ghost, and uh, the king tower is gonna help out a lot on defense, so yeah. See what he does here. Um, probably gonna RG with the hunter if I had to guess. Okay, never mind. That's for queen. I'm gonna um, try to make him panic and then pop the ability. Um, he didn't pop the ability, so I guess he's kind of playing patient. Okay, patient enough to not pop the ability at all. That's kind of funny. And he was going to nato this, because I kind of have an awkward cycle, so I just wanted to get the nato out of hand. 
as well. Um, that should die because of that NATO. Nice. Would have died anyways because the fisherman would have pulled a knight anyways. But it's a fat rocket and a half, so I'm going to take it. Oh, give me that. Yeah, put an RG into it. Why not? Definitely take that. Um, it's going to kill the Tessa, but I don't really care because I'm up so much elixir right now. Also up damage, but see how I can punish him here. He's not back to expo. Or what do you call it? RG. So I'm going to expo here. Um, I don't really know if he's a fireball or a lightning, but I assume he's a lightning because he's got a ghost. Yeah, there it is. If he had a fireball, he would have had a skelly king, but he's not going to be able to afford a, what do you call it? Fisherman before my expo locks on. So my expo got a lock. It's a lot of damage. I'm going to try to surround here. Nice. That's some pretty good defense. Also going to knight on the queen. Um, okay, that should full counter. Also going to test on the middle. If not, yeah, definitely going to have to test on the middle because I feel like that would have gotten like a hit on my tower, but it's okay. Might go for a RG. If I have to, I'll rock it on defense. But if not, I'm just gonna like play some defense here. Good. Defensive expo here, because I feel like he's gonna try to predict. Dude, this guy is so easy to read. I feel like I'm facing a 5k player, because I mean he didn't pop the ability at all in the first place. He also put a RG into a fat rocket. Um, I don't know, he made a lot of misplays. I could um keep on going, but I just want to kind of focus on the game. Gonna ice was on defense here. Might lightning or go RG opposite. Yeah, it goes for RG opposite. So I'm gonna test on defense here. Um, yeah, okay. I'm gonna take that rocket. That was a really good rocket on the queen and the RG. It's also gonna help me out on defense. I don't have to play anything on the RG. So, okay, he gave up. I don't blame him though. He kind of got um, outplayed there. I'm not gonna lie. Might seem like I'm bragging or something, but he actually played kind of terrible and got outplayed. So, definitely deserve to win that. Um, should put me at what, 18? I think. Or, wait, is it 19 or 18? I forgot. Uh, my memory is so bad, but... Let's see where that puts me, though. Okay, so it is 18. So I'm going to open the chest here. I need to unlock a log so I can do some mid-ladder um, content on this account. I haven't really logged on this account ever since, like, the 2021 CRL challenge. Which was, like, a year ago, I think. A year and a half, maybe. But it was a while ago, so... Probably going to use this account for mid-ladder, but... Anyways, okay, I got a ghost. Kind of wish I got a log, but it's okay. 18 and 1, see when I find a game. Alright, I got a game. Had a bit of queue time there, but facing Deprobato Ezio. Looks like he lost out at 19. He had the banner, but he's still in the challenge. So that's kind of unfortunate. Hopefully he gets it this time, but definitely not in this game, though. He's not allowed to beat me. Just joking, but see what he's playing here. Goes for a ghost in the back, so it might be RG again. Okay, uh, it's that stupid Golden Knight Cannon Card deck, so he's probably going to Cannon Card on my expo. Wait, what? Pigs, um, Ghost, Giant Skelly. Okay, I've never seen this deck in my entire life. Facing an off meta deck at 19 wins, or 18 wins. That's kind of crazy, but... Gonna Ice was on defense here to pull the Giant Skelly low, and then Knight on top of the Mother Witch to not do any damage. His deck kind of looks like he has a Golden Knight, so might not be easy. I also don't know what spell he has, so I have to be kind of careful, but... Yeah, definitely not looking like a good matchup. Oh god, he's got Zappies. I hate seeing that card because every time they play Zappies, I always think it's Recruits. Recruits is like a 100 0 matchup. You literally cannot beat it with Ice Bow, so. Those of you who play Ice Bow, you probably know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I'm going to activate King here. I'm going to try to not take a hit from that Ghost. This should be the placement, like, right now. Okay, maybe I'm messing up the timing because I took a hit again. I'm going to do this. I might get a hit on my tower again. Yeah, that was kind of bad on my part. Probably should have played them sooner, but... I'm just glad he wasn't back to Mother Witch, because if he was, he would have played it at the bridge to get a lot of damage. Kind of want to eat that, but if I do, I might not be able to get the damage back. So I'm going to Knight on defense here. I'm down a lot of Elixir, though. I can just tell I'm down a lot, because um, he spent 4 Elixir there, and I spent 7 Elixir on defense. So Plays a Fisherman and a Giant Skelly. Okay. Might have to rocket this. Um, depends on what he does here, but... Might have to also get back to a knight or something. Okay, the skellies kind of died to the arrows. I didn't really know he had arrows. It's kind of annoying. Um, but thankfully, I'm not playing like the normal expo deck, so he can't really do anything with the arrows. But I'm going to rocket on defense here. Definitely going to mirror pigs. I know that for a fact. So I'm going to get ready with the Tessa in the middle here, like this. I'm also going to log it because I know the Tessa is not going to full counter the um, over level pigs. I'm going to have to log over here to not take any damage. Got the activation, so the king's helping out a lot, but. Definitely going to knight on defense here. I was about his skellies, but then I realized he has a mother witch. Such an annoying deck. It's like all the broken cards in one deck. It's actually super annoying, but at least he doesn't have a golden knight. Or it looks like he doesn't, because that should be all of his cards, I think. Should not have any other cards. I'm going to rocket over here to kill the mother witch and the giant skelly. Also going to do this. 
I'm fine with taking some damage on the left here because I was kind of focusing on the right side and also the damage is kind of like split so I don't really care about it. I'm gonna knight here, also gonna axe bow here. I feel like I can just go for like an axe bow tassel to force out like a big spell. Um, but that should be all of his cards. He played giant skelly, ghost, mirror, fisherman, zappies, mother witch, pigs, and uh... Am I missing something? I think I'm missing something, but it's okay. I'll try to focus here. This was on defense to not take any damage from the pigs. I am going to take some, but fine with taking that. I actually want to go in here. He's getting a lot of damage. Every time he goes in, he gets a lot, so kind of annoying, but it's okay. I'm going to do this. Also going to knight on defense here, like this. Also going to test a high to DPS on the giant skelly. There we go. He might go for like a ghost, but okay, wait, I can DPS that down like this. Log Nato should make it like one shot from max, but two shot, but you get the point. Got a lock here, also gonna Ice Biz on it. Um, Skelly's over here to DPS them down so I can go in again. Okay, if that ghost hits my Tesla, I'm gonna go in again, but if not, I have to play a knight. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Literally one tiny interaction um, decides if I wanna go in or not, but that was annoying. Whatever though. Um, knight should kill the um, Mirror Ghost. I'm gonna Axe Bond defense here. Feels like he does not have any big spells, so should be fine here. Um, Probably gonna Mother Witch if I had to guess, right? Yeah, let's go for the Mother Witch. Um, I'm gonna Skellies here because I feel like he's gonna go in. Yeah, I just kind of played the Skellies to bait out like arrows after he went for a pig, so he can't really mirror the pigs. That was actually kind of big brain. Like I meant to um, bait out the arrows after he played pigs because I kind of knew he was gonna play pigs. I'm having a hard time explaining it, but hopefully that made sense because by doing that, I didn't let him um, mirror the pigs, so it was kind of easier to defend. I'm gonna Tesla here. Um, he's not gonna be able to mirror them because he just played a mirror on the giant Skelly. Gonna rock it on defense here though. Um, that should kill the giant Skelly. Not bad. I'm gonna do this. Also gonna surround this to not take any damage on the Ice Wiz. Um, Knight over here. I don't really have to rock it, but I'll keep playing some defense. Um, if I take some damage, I might have to, but I got three Ice Wiz on the field at the moment. Okay. Not anymore because the bomb kind of killed one, but I still have two. I can try to get back to a third one, but no point. Don't want to mess around with um, five seconds left. So I'm going to NATO here just to be up damage. Already up damage, but just to be safe. Um, but yeah, that was a pretty easy win. On second thought, probably not even a bad matchup because, I mean, he couldn't really get any damage on my tower. His only spell was arrows, and he had like Mother Witch and like Fisherman and stuff. He can't really get damage with that. So it was a pretty easy 19 and 1. See you when I find a game. Alright, I got a game. On to my game for 20 wins. Hopefully I get a good matchup here. Um, I've got my fair amount of bad matchups, so I'm just praying for one good matchup here. Because if I choke at 19 and 1, I'm actually going to be so sad. It's going to log over here. Um, It's not really making a play, so definitely looking like a beatdown deck. Going to Skelly's in the back. It might be some sort of off meta deck too, like some sort of like giant Skelly type of deck. Like the one I just faced, but who knows. Okay, plays a Mega Minion in the back, so looking like Lava or Giant or Golem. Uh, could be any of those, but I'm not really sure. Plays a fireball, so looking like giant. It's actually a horrible matchup, but I'll try my best. I'm gonna axe bomb the opposite lane here, because it still might be lava, but who knows? Like I just want to force something out. Wait, what? Uh, okay, so lava miner flying machine. Oh god, this matchup sucks. I thought it was lava loon, which is like a lot better compared to lava flying machine, but I just hate seeing the card flying machine, because when you don't have a fireball, flying machine feels like cheating. It's actually so annoying to defend, but I'm going to knight in the back here. By the way, I decided to eat the flying machine just to kind of even out the damage and keep my 5 elixir lead. This is something that no one talks about, but sometimes it's okay to like kind of sacrifice some tower damage to be up elixir so you can just kind of punish them. Back to Expo, so definitely going to get a lock here. He also missed a fireball on my knight. But yeah, like I said, if it's a edible stuff, like I'm not talking about like a hog rider. Obviously, if they play a hog rider, you're going to want to defend it, but they play like a musketeer or like a flying machine down the lane. Um, you can just like kind of ignore it, go opposite lane, but just like I did with that Mega Minion too. I didn't want to NATO it back because I need it for defense, so I just kind of saved my elixir. I could have went for a log and then played Skellies under it, but once again, I don't want to mess up my cycle because of that one card, so just kind of let it go. Fine with taking the hit. I'm not going to lose the whole game because of that, so I'm going to Knight in the back. Um, if he goes Lava here, I'm definitely going to want to get back to Expo and just go for it, but see what he does here. He goes for Flying Machines. I'm going to toss a high here in a second. Um, okay, I was just kind of making sure he wouldn't go lava in front of that, because if he did, that would have been terrible Tesla. Would have had to rock it on defense, but he tried to predict Max with the fireball. He didn't get it, but he still got like a decent fireball, so not bad. He could have kind of like split the barbs, but he actually played them same lane. I'm not really sure why, because if he split them, I would not be able to log all of them, but... 
gonna knight in the back here i'm not gonna try to over defend the axe but it's practically dead so i'm just gonna let it die I suppose like this to kill a flying machine. Also gonna like Tessa high and then Expo again. Tessa like this. Um, Tessa is kind of dead because it took like two hits. But wait, that was so lucky. Wait, he went lava at the same time. Did I just win the game? 20 seconds. Okay, I just gotta stall out the game now. Got a lock, so definitely a rocket now. Expo is gonna take the whole tower, so I don't really have to worry about taking the whole tower. 15 seconds. Oh my god. I just beat like a terrible matchup for 20 win. There's no way uh nine seconds i'm gonna have to nato these away also gonna skellies below it to kind of like distract it for like a bit longer knight over here because he might get back to a minor oh my god dude i am so happy right now wow i actually beat that matchup um but yeah that's 20 and 1 kind of wish i went 20 and 0 but it's okay it's low-key kind of funny though because i beat all the bad matchups but i lost a game to log bay at 11 wins so let me just check the matchups though i mean they're pretty like painful but Okay, well, that was bad, but the Giant Skelly game was pretty easy. Um, that was bad as well, but I beat it somehow. But yeah, I'm just going to show you guys the badger. If you enjoy the video, please make sure to like and sub. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.